think it's time to take five, man. With ICHE. Hey, folks, Kirk Smith. Only here recently I was sharing with my sons from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 23. That verse says that in all work or in all labor there is profit. There are many applications of that. The first one's pretty obvious. Whenever we work, we make money, we make a profit. But secondly, when we are working, we're not spending money. As Ben Franklin said, a penny saved is as good as a penny earned. Consider this. If we're not working, we're going to hang around the house, probably eat snacks that we don't need to eat, and spending money. That will go into Bone Gap. We have two soda pop machines in Bone Gap. If we go in and get a soda pop, we'll spend gas money, as well as buying the soda pops. If we're in the house, we might surf the web, or might watch TV, and we'll watch commercials that will seek to motivate us to spend money as well. Thirdly, and even more importantly, when we're working, that serves as a great deterrent to temptation. Proverbs says that idle hands are the devil's workshop. And if we're out here busy moving wood, working around the farm, we're a lot less likely to fall to temptation or to fall to sin. Also, when we're working, we're creating the right kind of appetites. I tell my kids every day, no matter what you're doing, you're creating either positive or negative habits, perspectives, and appetites. If we're not creating an appetite for work, by default, we're creating an appetite to play. And that will not serve young men and young women well in their future. We want to create the right kind of appetites. Finally, when we're learning to work hard, it helps us with the thing called sensuality. So many people want to be comfortable all the time nowadays. I think it's good for us to be out in the cold fall or winter weather uh, picking up wood. Why? It helps us appreciate being warm. Likewise, in the summer, it's good to be outside sweating and getting hot. It causes us to enjoy the air condition the more, all the more. It's good for us not to feed the flesh all the time, but to do things the flesh doesn't want to do. These are just a few applications why there is profit in work. Only recently we went to get our mule fixed. We went inside the barn there and there was an 80-year-old grandfather, his 57-year-old son, and his 28-year-old grandson working together. And they were having a ball. These folks work hard, day in, day out, week in, week out, and they love their work. And that's a real key to success, because if we don't learn to work hard, we'll want to play hard instead. I want to take this opportunity to invite each one of you to our first ever Men at Work in Carroll Streams in February. We're going to hear from leading industry Christian men to help teach and train our sons to be providers and more importantly, Christian men who provide for their family. Please come out. Excuse me now, I gotta get back to work.